This is meteorologist Dan Baumgart with a briefing on the severe weather potential for tonight. We do expect some storms to form in Minnesota and Iowa and move into the local area with possible hazards of strong and damaging winds and frequent lightning. We expect storms to form in an instability area that will build through the afternoon today. You can see the highest instability or fuel for these thunderstorms is along I-35 and westward. We expect the storms to form in that instability area by later in the afternoon and early evening and then move east as the evening progresses. By mid-evening, they should be entering southeast Minnesota and portions of northeast Iowa, and it's likely that there'll be a severe thunderstorm or tornado watch out for these storms uh, by this time. The storms are going to be on a weakening trend as they move away from that peak instability and continue to move east towards Wisconsin. You can see there that the weakening continues as these storms move east, and we expect any severe weather threat to be over by this time. The Storm Prediction Center shows this idea that the storms are going to be weakening quite well here in this graphic. You can see the orange area indicates numerous thunderstorms uh, west, along and west of Interstate 35. Numerous thunderstorms will be severe and then gradually decreasing the severe weather threat to isolated severe weather, severe storms uh, as it moves into Wisconsin. So the local risk level is somewhere between one and two, with the highest threat being damaging winds. There's also a very small threat for brief heavy rain with any of the stronger storms, but widespread flooding is not expected. So if outdoors tonight, uh, be aware that the biggest, the biggest threat to you is falling trees onto your tent. Uh, so stay weather aware as these storms move in tonight. During the day to day, there will be 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. So if you're outside uh, attending a fair or if you have your own craft booth or what have you that has one of these canopies, remember that these can fly around pretty good. So anchor them down to... Uh, to prevent them from flying in the wind. Tonight, if you're camping out, make sure you have a shelter option if strong or severe storms approach your area, and know if those storms are approaching by using a weather app or NOAA weather radio. Again, in summary, tonight we expect strong to damaging wind uh, to be possible with storms that will be moving into southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. We cannot rule out a brief tornado as well with those storms, mainly between 8 and 11 p.m. And again, that's for southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa as the storms will be weakening as they move east. Also expect a severe thunderstorm or tornado watch for those portions of Minnesota and Iowa as well as severe thunderstorm warnings.